because it looks like glue, like school glue. It even says, goes on white and dries clear. So I haven't seen what this primer looks like yet, so I'm curious if it does go on white. If it does, that would be really good because colors tend to pop on like a white base, so we will see. I just love the way that it looks like a glue stick. I think that's really cute. This is definitely not clear. It looks super like skin tone colored in the tube. Ooh. Gotta be careful, a lot comes out. This is the color right here that you get from the eyeshadow primer. I'm curious if it's got coverage to it. It feels really thick. Oh my gosh, I definitely put way too much. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this onto my eyes. It feels extremely tacky. This definitely is a thicker feeling primer. It feels very thick and it feels like it's gonna help the eyeshadow adhere because it does have a little bit of a more sticky base to it, but it feels okay. It doesn't really bother my eyes or anything. It feels pretty smooth on the lid once you rub it in, but definitely be careful if you do purchase this primer, you will get a lot by just squirting a little bit out. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in. You do have to blend it in a little bit. I don't want this to be too, too sticky. I have very oily eyelids. My eyelids are so oily. I have to use a concealer most of the time when I do my eyeshadow. This doesn't have any coverage to it. It's just basically like a standard shadow primer. It goes on clear to the eye. It definitely wasn't white in the tube. It was skin tone colored. It was kind of like a universal color that I feel would blend into anyone's skin tone. So just so you guys know, that is the way it looks. You can still see the veins on my eyes. This is just gonna be a clear eyeshadow primer. Moving on to the box of crayons. I am literally so excited about this. You guys have no idea. I cannot wait. I already have some colors in mind that I wanna do for this look. So I really don't want this look to be all over the place. I wanna stick with something that is colorful and beautiful. I'm gonna stick to these shades right in the center here, these blues, purples, and pinks. I don't really wanna get into anything else for this palette. Personally, me, when I'm buying a crayon palette, I wanna do something colorful, and that's why I'm buying it, because, duh. You know what I'm saying? Like, colorful. That's what I think of when I think of crayons. If I'm getting the crayon palette, I'm not looking to wear a neutral look. I wanna do something colorful and loud. So the first shade I'm gonna grab is called Pink, and it's the shade right here. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this color into the upper crease, because I really wanna fade the purples into a really soft, pretty baby pink like this. I am really hoping this palette performs well, because I am so excited to use it right now. I cannot wait. I'm literally so excited. You guys have no idea. So the eyeshadow primer did crease a little bit. I don't typically set my eye um, before doing shadow. I just put the primer on or concealer and I just leave it. So I'm just going to rub out the creases that I have. It's still pretty tacky. So I'm hoping that this blends nicely on top. Okay. We definitely have pigment. We have pigment. Okay guys, this is blending pretty easily right now. And I'm just being really soft with it. I'm keeping my hand at the end of the brush and I'm just lightly blending this out. And I feel like the pigment is pretty good. I think that the blendability is pretty good too. So I'm gonna keep going and see how this looks, but so far I like it. And you know, obviously with these colors guys, they're gonna look different on every skin tone. So this light pink may look even more pink if you're more fair than me. It just depends on what your complexion is. I could see this color being a little bit more deep if you are tanner than me or have a more deeper skin tone. These colors are definitely gonna vary on different complexions. On me, I feel like this color, the pink, is definitely more of a rosy pink. It's not as baby pink as it looks in the pan, but I still think it's really pretty and it's definitely gonna work for this look. Picking up some more of the shade pink, I'm just going to start bringing this on the lower lash line because I want this look to connect. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Violet and this is one of the shimmers that are in here. The metallic picks up pretty nicely without wetting the brush or anything. It's, ooh, that is pigmented guys. Oh my gosh, wow, I'm impressed. So all I'm doing is I'm just swirling this color in the outer corner of the eye, really blending it into the pink. So I really wanna make this more of a sharp, clean look. So I'm gonna go in with a bit of translucent powder and I'm gonna go ahead and pack this right on the outer corner of the eye, right where I'm blending the shadow. And I wanna make sure that this is very sharp. So by applying this powder, it's gonna keep all of that color in place and this will look really clean when we're finished. I can get pretty crazy with eyeshadow. I will blend my shadow literally out onto my eye because that's typically how I do a lot of my looks. But for this look, I really want to concentrate it just in this area and make it super sharp. 
And I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Fair, and this is their loose powder. It's so good. And I'm just taking that metallic violet color that I've been using, the purple. I'm bringing this right under the lash line and smoking this out against the pink. I just want these colors to really wrap around the eye. It's kind of like a candy eye look. I can't wait to use the blue. This is baby blue, and this looks like a turquoise. It looks really pretty, looks really metallic. So I'm first just gonna swirl my brush into it, and I'm using a flat brush for this. I like to use flat brushes when I'm packing on the lid. Ooh, and I got a lot. Oh my God, it's a lot. And now I'm just gonna spray my brush with some Fix Plus. Just once, I don't wanna do too much. Dang, guys, oh my god. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so pretty. This color, baby blue, reminds me so much of Pegasus by Makeup Geek. That is like my favorite eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, and this honestly looks really close to it. Like, it could definitely be like a dupe for that shadow. This is very foiled, very. It's really nice and metallic on the lid, and I'm just keeping it at the front of the lid, but I am gonna go in and blend a little bit right here. I cannot get over how pretty this color is. It looks so good. Then taking some more on a flat brush, I'm gonna bring this on the lower lash line. So to really complete the look, I wanna go in with this white, which is super shimmery, and I wanna pop this on the inner corner and also the brow bone. I love a really bright highlight for an eyeshadow look, so I want this to be nice and bright. So pretty. This is definitely a really shimmery white. Now I'm going to apply one of my favorite eyeliners, and this is from Sephora. This is a waterproof crayon, and it is in the shade Turquoise, which I think is perfect for this look. I'm just going to line the waterline only with it. And now taking a glitter eyeliner. This is the Heavy Metal Glitter from Urban Decay, and this is in the shade Amp. I'm just going to use this to apply into the inner corner of the eye and also underneath a little bit. So now I'm going to apply some wing liner. I'm going to use the Curvy Master Precise from Maybelline. When I say I'm doing a minimal wing, that's a lie, typically, because look how big my wing just got. I really like this eyeliner because it has a flat end to it, like the sides of it are flat. So all you have to do is press down on your wing and slide it along your eye and it's really easy. I really like this eyeliner. So now I'm going to coat my lashes in mascara and I'm going to use the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. I've never tried this before so I'm really excited and I think it's really cute. And it's blue. And I love big mascaras, like this size is everything. I got my lashes on and I wanted to go in with a pink lip, so I'm popping on the CoverGirl Katie Cat Matte in Pink Paws. This is a really pretty pink color. I feel like it complements the pink that's up here. All right guys, my look is complete. This is the final look and I'm ready to give you guys my thoughts on what I think of the box of crayons eyeshadow palette from the crayon case, the primer. Let's talk about the primer first because that's what I use first. I was really impressed by this. I thought it worked really nicely. I feel like the shadows showed up super pigmented and it worked well as a primer. Will I use this every day? I'll probably go back and forth with concealer and I will sometimes use this. I did think it worked really well and I did like it. Concealer works just as good for me, so depending on what you prefer to use. I typically don't use eyeshadow primers every day. You guys know that I use concealer, but if you're into primers and primers that are specifically for eyeshadow, you don't use concealer, I feel like you would really like this because it has a really interesting texture that I felt really helped the eyeshadows adhere to my eye. I love the idea of this palette. I think it is so cute like a palette based upon a crayon box. I don't think it could get any cuter and my inner 12 year old was dying literally when I saw this. I was freaking out. I still love